Now, hi guys, welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading that love right across the big bad world of ours. Now, <clears throat> in the last few days, I've had people asking me to do a video about the change of rules with the FA Cup. For people who don't know, the FA and Premier League have agreed from next season onwards to stop all replays from the first round proper. Remember, Premier League and most championship clubs don't come in until the third round. Also, they stopped the winter break and ever since that announcement, many, many lower league clubs are, have been arms about it. Well, people who are old enough to remember I have my issues with the FA Cup format, but I wanted to break these issues down because just in case you don't agree with one of the issues, then you, you don't dismiss the whole video, which also contains other issues in which you may actually agree with. So let's talk about the first topic about this whole <laughs> I'm a Cardiff City fan I follow Cardiff City from the lower leagues the old Division 4 what is now League 2 and follow them throughout their progress up the league so I know exactly where the lower league clubs are coming from about the loss of revenue However, in my opinion, changes do have to be made, but I think we haven't gone far enough in some respect. For many people who remember, I used to live in Spain and I liked part of a format of the Copa del Rey over there. Now, how it works over there is kind of like a seeding a seeding system in the earlier rounds so <clears throat> for example the third round proper happens and the higher league so the for example la liga teams and many of the segunda teams which is the second tier of spanish football would have to be away They'd have to be away, playing away at a lower or non-league uh, team. So, for example, I don't know, call Shrewsbury Town. They get tied against Liverpool. So, Liverpool, Shrewsbury would have to be the home leg. You would not have an Arsenal-Liverpool game. You would not have an Arsenal-Liverpool game in the third round. It would always be uh, a higher team drawn away to a lesser team. So, with that respect, there's no replays, exactly the same, no problem at all. But the revenue for the lower league clubs would still be there. And because there would be no Premier League teams playing each other, then... You wouldn't have a debacle like we have had this year with the TV uh, showing, I don't know, can't remember what it was. What is Arsenal and Liverpool in the third round when he had Maidstone going to Stevenage and having that giant killing? So <clears throat> the revenue will always be there for the lower league clubs. You don't have to be chasing a replay. Uh, money and so on. So, for that respect, I don't think the change is long. I don't. I I agree that there shouldn't be replays. But if you're not doing replays, then <clears throat> you should change the format into a seeded system and follow the Copa del Rey on that. Okay. Okay. It's whether or not. The team, the uh, 
the clubs, the higher clubs, actually value. Or I didn't include the FA and Premier League. Actually value the FA Cup. Now, what we've seen is very hypocritical with many of the top Premier League clubs at the moment. You know, the clubs have agreed with the FA to change into what, uh, what the system is going to be from next year. But do they actually value it? Yet at the same time, you've got the likes of Pep Guardiola and Ten Hag coming out and saying that they feel sad about the changes which are made. Well, hang on, your bosses were part of the changes, a part of the team which changed them. Never mind. Never mind. So let me... Now, this can be a bit farcical, I suppose, of an idea. But I think it, it would increase the, the viewing figures worldwide, increase the interest back into the FA Cup within the UK, and increase the revenue. Especially like the FA Cup winners would only get like three million. That doesn't, I, that probably wouldn't pay for a week's wages with a top club. But what do you think of this idea? Let's scrap the Champions League fourth place in the Premier League and give it to the winners of the FA Cup. Now with that, <clears throat> with that kind of target, would the Premier League clubs take it more seriously? Would the TV companies take it more seriously? And let's be honest, would the fans of the top tier clubs take it more seriously? Look, just two ideas anyway of how I think the FA Cup could benefit. I agree that changes do need to be made to the format, but I think my changes would work out for the better. Until next time, adios, hasta luego, auf Wiedersehen, goodbye.